The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected woman, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. Today's case is the story of 36-year-old Catherine Price of Warner Robins, Georgia. Catherine was born on February 9th in 1985. She was married and she was a mother of three children. Catherine originally was from Memphis, Tennessee. She lived in Warner Robins, Georgia with her husband of 11 years, Timothy Price. Timothy was 41 years old and he was a truck driver. He had recently just bought a truck and he was very proud of that, uh, the fact that he was able to accomplish that. They had three children and they seemed very active in their children's lives. They were also members of the church. Catherine worked for 18 years as an analyst for the Georgia National Guard. Not only that, she was an Air Force veteran, so she was very accomplished. She had recently started a business called Next Level Glam where she taught herself how to do makeup. I first learned about Catherine's story due to a uh, surgery group I was involved in for BBLs. Uh, Catherine had recently had her uh, a BBL and she looked fabulous. For those who don't know what that is, that's a Brazilian butt lift. I noticed that they were saying um, rest in peace. And, and I remember I looked at her surgery and I was like, man, she looks beautiful. They did a great job. And so when they were saying rest in peace, I followed the story to try to figure out what happened. So what was reported that at about 8.52 a.m. on May the 4th of 2021, the husband, 41-year-old Timothy Price, called Centerville police saying that he had shot his wife and saying that he needed the police help. Um, police said they tried to talk to him. Um, they showed up on the scene. They knocked at the door several times and he didn't answer. Um, so then they deployed tear gas to see if they could get him to come outside. Timothy did not come outside. And so when he didn't, the police entered and they found both Timothy and his wife, Catherine, deceased. We are learning more about the husband and wife found dead inside their Centerville home Tuesday morning. Police say just before 9 a.m. yesterday, they received a call from a man who told them he shot his wife and needed help. Officers found both Timothy and Catherine Price dead from gunshot wounds. Brianna Richardson spoke with family members today. She joins us live with the latest on this case. Yes, Frank, and since I've been here, people have come by to drop off flowers and teddy bears to pay their respects. Now, today I spoke with Timothy's nephew, Caleb Miles, and he says his family is still in shock. And when he got here on Tuesday morning, he just couldn't understand. 19-year-old Caleb Miles says his mom woke him up Tuesday morning saying she had to rush to his uncle's house, so he went along. So I got there, I seen all the police and stuff, and I'm just like, what, what's going on? Because... It wasn't no bad relationship or nothing with them. Like, we never heard anything. Well, I never heard anything bad about their relationship where something like this was going on. So I'm just, like, lost. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. 41-year-old Timothy Price owned a truck company and drove 18-wheelers. He previously worked at Frito-Lay. And 36-year-old Catherine Price worked at Robbins Air Force Base for the 116th Air Control Wing. Family members say the couple has been married for 11 years. They have three children and were members of Fellowship Bible Baptist Church. Right now, it's just it's just shocking. Like, we never expected nothing like this. Like, it feels like something you would read in a book or, like, see in a movie or something like that. So for something like that to happen so close, it's just everybody's lost right now. And I spoke with GBI special agent in charge, Todd Crosby. He says this case is not being ruled as a murder-suicide at this time. If we go to a death investigation, we don't go in with a preconceived notion, oh, this is a murder-suicide. We work everything like it's a murder until we can prove it's not a murder. And it may be a suicide. It may be a natural. It may be an accidental. But we're not going to call it until after the autopsy is done, and until all our investigative acts have been completed, all our evidence has been processed. Miles says he grew up with the Price family because they treated him like their own. I always remember him as like that father figure, like always looking out. Even though I wasn't his child and he had his own family, he always looked out for me and kept bringing me in like I was one of their own too. Like she just treated everybody like family and they were just always good to people. as the life of the party. He says they'll truly be missed. Live in Centerville, Brianna Richardson, 13WMAZ News.
Thank you, Brianna. Todd Crosby says the Price's bodies have been sent to the GBI crime lab and autopsies will be performed on Friday. We did receive a statement from Robbins Air Force Base about Catherine Price, who worked on base for 18 years. The statement said she was a valued member of the organization and respected by many. It went on to say, quote, in the Georgia Guard, we are family. And when we lose a member, it is felt by everyone. As you can see, Catherine was beautiful, successful. She was truly making her mark on the world. And I really hate the way she had to meet her demise, especially by a loved one. Ladies, we really need to pay attention to the people who are around us. Even though you never would think that this would happen, but every eight hours, a black woman or a black child girl is murdered by someone close to her, either the husband, the brother, the uncle, the father, um, the boyfriend. We really have to pay attention because it's every eight hours. This has become an epidemic that no one is discussing and the, the cases are insurmountable. May Catherine rest in peace and may her family find peace. Thank you.